Welcome back to the Learning Layer segment. We are continuing our conversation with Joe Kerrigan as he gets ready for his CISSP exam. Joe? Yeah? We, <laughs> hi. Um, <laughs> we finished Domain 8. Finished Domain 8. Eight of 8. That's correct. They're so all done now. So now you have the exam scheduled, so we're, you know, maybe about two weeks away. Right. Um, I guess the big question is, what to do next? How are you going to fill those two weeks? So before I offer... Um, I'm my... going to watch TV and play video games. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, Before I offer some ideas based on my experience of working with a lot of students and seeing what's worked, right. why don't you tell me your plan? What do you okay. think? So what I've started doing already mm -hmm. is I've been leveraging the QBank okay. uh, in, in the tool. And I have identified that uh, there are two domains where mm -hmm. I need to go back in and do a little more Boning up, if you will. Okay. Now, before we get there, though, I'm curious. How did you use the QBank to find that out? Did you do questions, you know, across all eight domains, or did you go domain by domain and create smaller quizzes? I started by going. Uh, I, I did a a a all eight domain quiz, mm -hmm. and I got a seventy on that. How many questions? Uh, it was uh, forty questions. Okay. Uh, I I got a seventy on that, and I was like, well. And I looked through, and it seemed like every time that I got an answer wrong, it was coming from one of these two domains, either okay. domain three, which is security architecture and engineering, which has a lot of different memorization about different models that, frankly, were new to me, uh, and then security operations, domain seven, uh, which I'm not sure why that one is presenting a problem, but it is. Sure. So the next thing I did was I took a test just on those two domains. Okay. Just a quick 20-question test on those two domains. Was this after you had studied some content or after you took the original 40-question quiz, you took basically another one? I took another one right after the original 40-question right okay. quiz okay. because I wanted to see if this was correct. And the shocking thing was, yeah, I got a 50% on that quiz. Okay. I was like, hmm, okay. How many questions? So it, this was only 20 questions. Okay. So then, just to make sure <laughs> that that's what I did, I took... The other six domains in the quiz. Okay. And got 80% on that. Okay. So I'm like, all it's right, real data. I think I have clearly identified <laughs> Great. two weak spots in my knowledge. That's where I'm going to focus on for the next couple of days. And then I'm going to get these, these uh, domains up into, you know, up, up, up to a higher knowledge level, higher retention level, then take another test. Um, and then uh, I will take the, the computer adaptive test and continue to study uh, for the exam over the course of the next week and a half or so. Great. So if I could say this back to you and also just comment on one thing I think you did really well, the home stretch, you know, this 10 days, whatever it is, two weeks, that is for shoring up any weak areas. So step one, as you did, is identify where you need to study. Right. And the flow or the structure should be start with your weaknesses. Because it gives you time now. You're not, you know, panicking because you're not a couple days away from the exam. You're not cramming. You take the time you need to actually learn the information. And then when you get closer to exam day, you can re-up re or reassure the strengths. And mm -hmm. that's important. And I like that order because it's going to help you walk into test day with confidence. If you sure up on the strengths right before, that is a nice Reminder, even the psychological, that, oh, I know my stuff. I know this, which is what you need to do to execute well on test day. Right. So I like the flow. Okay. Start with the weaknesses, spend as much time as you need there, end with the strengths. Excellent. Well, that's what I'm doing, Sam. Excellent. Um, I have one other idea that you could do. And again, I don't want to disrupt your flow. It sounds like it's, it's working. I would love to hear the other idea. <laughs> so at some point, too you need to, like, zoom out a little bit. Right. So we've talked about this concept of, like, the, the CISP especially is, it's a tough exam because it's both about the individual trees, but it's also about the forest. And I really do think most of the questions are kind of the forest level questions. So what I mean by that is I think you need to get a higher level understanding of each of the domains and try to understand how they all fit together, right? And mm -hmm. the, um, 
course comes with domain review videos. So those are maybe right. half hour per domain. Yep. And they are basically just the most important testable stuff within the domain. So that's kind of one nice way to summarize all the most important content. So that's one option. I haven't, I haven't looked at those yet, but I have seen them. There and you I go. planned on watching them, yes. Great. The other thing that's a good, helpful zoom out is at the end of the textbook, I think they're called like chapter summaries or something. Right. And it's just a list. It's literally just a list of like all the most important stuff from each of the chapters, which, you know, put all them together, <laughs> correspond to the eight domains. My point is something you could do is just watch the domain summary videos. Anything that you don't know, that's a helpful thing to say, oh, I need to go and study this. Mm -hmm. Read the chapter summaries. Huh, I, this is weird. I haven't heard of this and it's really important. Let me go study that. And I kind of like those a little bit better because you're not necessarily using questions to get that data about yourself. You're using like most of a gut feel. It's like, do I know this or not? And right. in some weird ways, that can be as useful as doing questions. Cool. Well, I'll do all those things. And then... Because I want to pass this test in the yeah. first time I take it. <laughs> You will. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Uh, I've. I've seen all the work you've put, been putting in over all this time. I know the background. I know what you got on your diagnostic. I know your scores. So if I were a betting man, I'd put a lot of money on you. <laughs> on on you passing. passing. Okay. Awesome. Well, good luck on the home stretch. We'll talk uh, next week and we'll actually dive a little bit more into the cat uh, and I'll get you prepared for the practice test and then obviously the real thing in a couple weeks. <laughs>